around the whole world In my hands, in my team By my side with the whole world In my place what is up everybody, Wild Lighting HW here with another video, and today we're going to be doing some defensive stuff. Now we're going to watch my base get completely smashed up a couple of times, but we're also going to watch in this episode some funny free spell fails uh, that I noticed happen in a couple of these attacks against me. Now as you can see, uh, during these attacks, I am completely loaded on resources, mainly because I was saving up uh, just to upgrade walls. I usually save up until I get around 8 million gold to start, or well, 7 to 8 million gold to start upgrading walls just so I can do it, uh, like record it and put it in a video, but, uh, so yeah, that's why I'm usually stacked on gold, but this guy's gonna be attacking me with a really weird strategy, he's basically, it's like Go Wee Wee, uh, except instead of using witches, he just has a bunch of wizards along with it, now I guess that works, I mean, it could definitely work, um, but I, I would think that Go Wee Wee would be a lot more effective, but, uh, as you can see, this guy does not get too far into my base, he only takes out, like, the outside buildings, and, um, honestly, if I had my tunnel inside, he probably would not have gotten the two-star unless he would have, like, full-on attacked one side of the base. I'm not sure if he was going for loot or he was slightly retarded. I don't know what he was going for in this raid, but, uh, he did get a little bit of my loot. Well, let me, let me rephrase that. He got, he got a good amount of my loot, I gotta say. <laughs> he, uh, he made out with a lot, but it's okay because that free spell won the raid for him. I don't even care how poorly this raid was, that one free spell literally won the raid. That was the most clutch free spell I have ever seen in my life. If you guys do not use free spells to freeze the outside trees on the map, you're obviously doing something wrong in this game. I'm just kidding. That was the shittiest free spell placement ever. Uh, he obviously misclicked, so I feel bad for this guy, uh, you know, but that free spell wouldn't have done anything anyways because this raid was pretty much over. But yeah, I really fucked that one up with the free spell all the way to the right of the base, freezing my poor trees. Like, this guy honestly hates the environment, what an asshole, I probably should just report on my... Yeah, this raid comes to a close, losing a total of five cups on a two-star, a decent amount of loot he got from me, but again, that freeze spell, that is the raid winner right there. All right, next raid, uh, I'm going to be being attacked by Go Wee Wee. Now, you're going to see the majority of the attacks up here that I'm getting hit by is Go Wee Wee or Go Wipe or that other guy's weird Golem Wizard strategy, uh, but he's going to use three Golems on... Actually, this is not Go Wee Wee, this is Go Wee Wipe. He's been using three golems on the uh, top right of my base here, along with his level 40 queen. Why he put her in so early, I don't know. I guess it's part of the strategy. Then he's going to put in his two P.E.K.K.A. and a bunch of wizards and the witches and clan castle wizards, and then his king. So he's going to be going in from the right side here, rage spell down, which is going to infuriate, not a word, is now his heroes and his troops and whatnot, and they're going to be going kind of around the base. That's why I really like this layout. Uh, it really filters troops well. Um, it kind of keeps them out of the center, well, unless they have a jump spell like that. But as you can see, the Golem and the King, is go they're both going to the right. Uh, the Pekka does go into the Pecker. Pekka does go into the middle, along with the Queen, some Wizards and Witches. And um, they're going to clean up pretty well, but they will not last that long because my Expos and um, my other defense are really going to work on them. So uh, the Golem and the King are doing pretty good on the right side here. Uh, the Pekka on the top is doing decent. The Queen still has a bit of health, but the both Expos are trained on her. Uh, make that one expo. The other one got fucked up by those little minions, but one expo was trained on her, but he used her special ability, and um, it's going to take a second for the expo to lock onto her again and take her out. Uh, and he puts down that awesome clutch rage spell there that gets absolutely none of his troops. This guy obviously is one of the best attackers. He's probably in the top 200 right now with this amazing spell placement. That's not all. There's a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. There's a little bit more spell placement here. That you got to see from this guy that is completely incredible. Never seen before at the 2014 MLGX Games in Anaheim here. Going in from the right side of the base of this king. Okay, we're going to stop, like, codcasting this. But uh, once this king gets through here, it's going to clean out the whole entire compartment. Because level 40 king, although he was uh, completely shit on by the update, uh, he still does a fair amount of damage. Especially with those max barbarians. So that they're going to go in here and pretty much clear out everything. And then they're going to be going around the base. Now here... You gotta watch these free spell placements because they're extremely overpowered, and uh, this guy is obviously probably one of the best attackers in the game. So, the giant bomb comes out. He's wait, oh, pff, spoiler! 
the giant bomb comes out. He's like, oh, no, freeze the giant bomb. And uh, it doesn't work for some reason. I don't know why. Usually freezing its trap works pretty well. Then he's going to freeze the defenses except for the archer tower, which is going to end up taking the king out. Another wasted freeze spell. I don't know what's wrong with people and champions and their lack of knowledge towards freeze spells. Maybe they need to go watch some Galadon and learn how to do it because obviously – there's not a lot of good attack in and free spell using up here. But that's me at minus nine. He did get like all of my loot and he got nine cups, so that wasn't a bad rate on his part. But he probably should have three star me considering he's blah, blah, probably should have three starred me considering he's using a max go we wipe, which is used to three star max bases. So he really got shit on. Especially with those uh clutch free spell placements. So now this last raid, I don't think any fuck ups are gonna happen. Like I don't think he's gonna mess up with this actually this raid goes really well for him but he does not three star me spoiler but he gets really really close so this guy is using go wipe he's going to be putting in all three golems and all of his wizards on the right side of my base here with all of his wall breakers probably should have saved some of those um but you know whatever he's a he's the expert not me and then he's going to put in all four pekkas king and queen both max no level 30 okay never mind they're not max uh clan castle troops are going to come out he's going to have a raid spell jump spell uh, freeze spell on one expo. I guess it's a failed freeze spell. He only freezed one expo. Could have freezed the Teslas and more expos. But uh, speaking of freezing the Teslas, there's the freeze on the Teslas. Freezing all four of them. That was a great placement by him. And another rage spell down. Uh, I think that's a rage spell. Or is he? Yeah, another rage spell down that's going to accelerate the King and the Pekkas into the middle of the base. And that's going to do a lot of damage on me. Again, uh, Go Wipe is a pretty damn good strategy. Uh, I know that I do not have Pekkas unlocked. Uh, and I don't think I'm going to unlock them anytime soon, but uh, it's definitely a very good strategy for Town Hall 10 pushing. But I'm a big fan of balloons, obviously, and Go Wee Wee I will be practicing with and pushing with at Town Hall 10. So he has a, a big glob of troops, a big troop orgy going on in the middle of my base here that are going to be working their way around the bottom half. Now they're going to take out that cannon, which is going to salvage the uh, P.E.K.K.A., that is just chilling on the bottom of it. Just kidding. The P.E.K.K.A. got fucked up. All right. I was playing. I lied. But he is going to have a group of troops going in uh, kind of on the bottom here. There's like, I think there's two golems and a P.E.K.K.A. And he's got some wizards, but the wizards are going to go bye bye in a second here once that bomb comes up. Boom! Gone. Done. Gonzo. Dead. Uh, Queen did get killed by that cannon. There's a couple archers left that are being taken down. But all that's left in this raid, the only troops that can salvage this raid are a golem or two golems and then one pekka both golems have a ton of damage on them. they're both about to die or well get exploded and then that pekka does not have a lot of life on her either so uh no oh, i guess there were three golems my bad I, I i'm losing track of what the fuck is going on. what the fuck is going on that vine is uh it's pretty funny but messed up so uh his his pekka is going to start taking damage here along with the golems so the pekka is going to go down in a second and then all that's going to be left of this raid are his golems which are not going to do a lot because golems uh, generally by themselves do not do a ton of damage but yeah his golems are going to beat their heads on this and that's going to be really the end of the raid and the end of the episode if you guys enjoyed the video enjoy the defensive series make sure to like subscribe follow me on twitter at wildlighting hub that is it for today guys third third upload of the day that's it sorry no more uploads i love you hope you enjoyed go check out my uh, town online upgrade video by the way peace In class still, they never reply, but never say never, they never get caught on my mind. I'm trying to get better and grind, measure my effort and skill, gets better in time. Fresher than ever, and I am who I am, no taking it back, I'm alive and well, well, what I do, my name is unimportant, but what I say is quite amazing, I hope you enjoy it. I put my